Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to show you how to get groups from AD Active Directory. Okay, on premises Active Directory via LDAP integration. Let's see. So log into our instance or personal instance or customer instance. Okay. So whichever the instance you are using it. Okay. So now what we are going to do, we are going to get our AD groups into the service now. Okay, let's log into our AD and see what all the groups are available. Okay, so go to the AD. So this is my personal um, AD called uh, name blog new. Okay, this is my uh, update AD. I have created, I have created one server and I have installed one uh, Active Directory. And inside this one, there is a groups. Okay, if you open this group, there are four groups here, uh, which I have created for testing purpose. Okay, security group one, group two, distribution group one, distribution group two. Okay, two types of group, distribution group and security group. And inside each group we have uh, uh, users like test user two, test user four, okay? So let's import all these groups from AD to uh, our service now, and let's see, okay? So this is on-premises um, AD, uh, not an Azure. So this is how we will connect. We will connect with LDAP integration, okay? So LDAP integration, go to our instance, okay? And um, go to LDAP. LDAP, uh, LDAP servers, okay? So here we already have an integration with the um, AD, LDAP server. We already configured it, okay, in our uh, previous videos. Please uh, check the description for the link, how we can configure the LDAP integration, okay? So, and for this one, we also configured a mid server. Okay, please check the description for the link how to configure the mid server. Okay, how to connect to the server and the service now. Okay, so all these things we have. And we already imported the users. Okay, so if, uh, let me repeat one more time the users once. Okay, so I have go to users. Go to users, and you can see we configured everything like LDAP OU definitions. We configured CN is equal to users. Okay, let's go to our AD, and um, uh, we have uh, users here. Okay, all us no users. Okay, test user one, test user two, all these users. Okay, so these users we need to uh, get into our service now. Okay, uh, so because these users are the part of our OU groups for you. Okay, so uh, so we already uh, we already configured uh, CN is equal to users. Okay, so uh, what all the users objectivity will get the users. Okay, let's go to the, so there are some schedule loads we have for the users, LDAP user import. Okay, go to the LDAP user import and execute. Okay, so before executing, we need to know how, how all the users are coming or not. So for that, we what we need to do, we can go and test the browser link. Okay, the browser, I mean, and the browse. Okay. See this one uh, in the LDAP nodes, we are getting the all the users or not. Okay. So we are getting only the four users like service now users, uh, default account CNU is equal to users. Okay. So change to OU is equal to um, OU is equal to what is the, our OU? Our OU is uh, no user. Okay. Let's see. OU is equal to no user. Okay. Now filter it. So object class is equal to person. Okay, we will all get all these users, user one, user two, user three. So copy this at the end and go back. Go back and add in the RDN. RDN is equal to OU is equal to users and update. Okay, 
now um execute now the schedule job okay so if you go to users users so you will get all the users see test user one user two user three user four everything so if i open test user one okay you you will get like first name last name okay and the email all these things if email is the email you will get okay for example if i open test user one test user two okay all these things okay and uh, and you can see the source and ldap also okay source source and ldap server which ldap server it is coming from and you can see the source okay it is coming uh, see ldap server it is coming and the source it is like you can see the ldap cn is equal to test user ou which ou and uh, which domain nsp.com all this it is coming okay so now we are we are having the users now we will try to get our groups data okay so let's see how we will get the groups data in the groups data go to ldap ou definitions okay so to check uh, users how we can configure the users how we configure the transfer maps all these things please uh, uh, follow the link in the description okay uh, for the ou i will tell you um, groups ou ou is equal to um, let's see which ou um, we have groups there is a groups ou okay ou is equal to groups and save it so if this rdn is working or not okay we need to test okay we need to browse the connections okay let's browse it are we getting all the groups inside the ou groups or not we, we need to see before we import okay so we are getting all the four groups okay good and then what we need to do uh, go back go back and example ldap groups okay let it be the name okay uh, okay ldap groups transform map okay let's go to the ldap group import table okay and uh, here these two you know uh manager field you underscore manage by set manager if uh, the groups is having any manager it will set the manager okay source account name name description source it will map and uh in the after transform script on after you have add members source and target so that means it will add the members from the groups okay it will remove the members from the groups okay so the transform map looks good okay now what we need to do um, we need to load uh, before running what we need to do we need to test load 20 records okay test load 20 records never so we created let's see the loaded data okay loaded data this one is the loaded data and we see what all the fields here we got okay c and gg and group type instance number name object object class sam account source all these things okay so let's open one record one row okay see uh this distinguished name okay this one uh com is missing that means it uh, um it trimmed okay based upon the length of the subject okay so what we need to do is we need to configure this dictionary okay and we need to add like uh, 200 is a maximum okay so we need to update because it should uh it should run and it should update the length right the members member it needs to be like more like 4000 because there are 
lot of members inside it. We can't estimate it. Okay, so uh, so if it contains like more than 100 members, so then it is a problem. Then we need to figure it out the uh, alternate solution for it. Okay, um, and the group type, object class, okay, source. Source is important. Source we need to um, uh, we need to get the source right and update. Okay, and DN also is important. Two hundred and update. Okay, and um, object category is also important. Configure dictionary. Okay, two hundred and update. So once we configure it, what we need to do, we need to go to LDAP schedule. Okay, uh, LDAP schedule. Let's go to LDAP. LDAP schedule loads. We need to go to. Okay, here the group import is there. Okay, so this is not active. We need to daily at. Uh, okay, any time that depends upon. Okay, so save it and execute now. Okay, so now see the uh, import set table, LDAP import set table. Okay, so now you see uh, the target record is created, four groups are created. You can see, okay, inserted, inserted, inserted. Okay, so if I open one record and you can see the members are added, okay, and you can see the district name, okay, it is not trimmed, okay, and the source is also not trimmed. Okay, so the members. Okay, so let's see in the groups table it is added or not. Okay, go to the groups. In the groups table, let's see. Okay, you can see security group one, security group two, distribution group one, distribution group two, and security group one. If I open security group one, okay, so you have two uh, users, test user three, test user one. Okay, in the security group two, you have test user four and test user two. Okay, and um, uh, distribution group one. So, Test user five, test user six. So like that. Uh, for example, in the distribution group two. So there are three users here. So you see. So uh, we are getting the groups from uh, Active Directory on premises Active Directory. Okay, and the group members also. For example, um, for example, if you remove, okay. What happens if I remove accidentally if I remove these two users from this group? Okay. These two users from this group. Okay, and save it. And save it. Okay. And let it be the uh, the groups like uh, other groups like security. Same. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, security group one we don't have okay security group two we have two users test four test two so if i run again so it should not duplicate it okay and uh, it should add automatically the group members okay let's see let me run it okay execute now so now see the groups here see now it automatically populated the user one, user three. Okay, I removed accidentally, but after running the schedule, uh, it is populated automatically. So the group members here it is not changed because already they are there. Okay, so it is not updated or not uh, removed. Okay, for example, in the security group one. Okay, in the security uh, group one. Uh, if I remove, if I remove the user from here. Okay, test user three I have removed. Okay, and I have added like um, uh, another user, for example, uh, for example, 
let's choose a six. Okay, okay, and apply and okay. So now if I run again the schedule job, okay, from the security group one, it should remove the user three and it should add the user six. Okay, let's see. Let let me run it again. Execute it. So in the security group one, give at least two minutes time. Okay. See now it is removed the three and it's added user six. Okay, that is how you can get uh, the groups and group members from the Active Directory via LDAP integration. Okay. So in the our upcoming videos, we will see, for example, if I add a new user here, and it should add in the AD automatically via orchestration. Let's see in the upcoming classes. Okay. Thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.